Introduction Bullying is one of the main challenges children are facing at school. It is a global problem that is currently affecting many youth. The rate at which bullying cases are reported makes a lot of worry for parents. The issue is serious to the extent that many children have learned to live with it and some have created the notion that bullying is part of their life in the early years of their development. Several cases, especially in the United States and Japan, have been reported about children's humiliation, mistreatment, physical attacks, and even rape cases of young female learners. The effects of bullying to a child can be very traumatizing if not carefully addressed. These effects sometimes are long-lasting and can provoke the victim to take dangerous measures to forget the incidents. According to Rigby, bullying experiences can cost the lives of the victims, if not prevented in time. In New York, it is reported that a young immigrant killed herself due to excessive bullying. This researcher argues that it is high time for the issue of bullying in schools to be addressed. The notion that bullying is a rite of passage should be eliminated. This research paper aims at exploring the causes, effects, and possible solutions to bullying in schools. Cause of bullying in school According to Alwius, there are many reasons that lead to bullying in schools. One of the main causes is the cultural factor. This includes race and ethnicity. A child may be a bully or a victim if he or she comes from a majority race or the minority race respectively. Another cause of bullying in schools is the nature of life a child is exposed to. In many families in developed countries, children are comfortably allowed to watch TV even in their bedrooms. Instead of studying, such children spend their time playing computer games. The games they play make them bullies because they see others practice the same. According to Tatum and Lane, high expectations of parents of their children contribute to bullying. This is the case because a child will spend a lot of time studying so as to perform well and meet the parents' expectations. Failure to achieve the target may develop stress in a child and they will express anger through shouting or bullying fellow learners. Another cause of bullying in schools emanates from the social status of the family. A child from a humble background will always have some pressurizing needs that are not met. This child will always want to express this frustration to fellow learners, especially those coming from stable families by bullying them. Effects the effects of bullying as mentioned above can be very traumatizing. Victims of bullying may opt for dropping out of school because of the trauma they experience while at school. Others may develop irresponsible behavior that involves missing classes on most occasions. School irregularities among the learners result in poor performance. Bullying leads to stress among the victims. This in turn results into poor communication with these children. McGrath argues that, in some cases, excessive bullying can lead to victims committing suicide to escape from painful experiences and memories. Some of the effects are short-term, but if not well addressed, they can result into serious complications. The victims may have bedwetting problems, unexplained worries, and digestive problems because of the fear that is instilled in them. Some victims with the intention of hitting back may develop very destructive behavior. Other victims may end up engaging in drug abuse to make them forget the painful experiences. Bullying affects the normal development of victims and makes them have low self-esteem. Bullying Causes and Effects – Mitigation Measures Mitigating bullying in schools is not a one-man battle. Since it is a global issue, it calls for a collaborative and participatory approach to addressing the problem. Teachers, parents and policy makers have a big role to play in curbing this bad behavior in schools. Teachers spend much of the time with the learners and therefore, can easily control their behavior while in school. They should be very tough and keen to identify the bullies and expel or suspend them from school to avoid the spread of such behaviors among other learners. School administrators should seriously punish the physically strong learners who take advantage of the weak ones by mistreating them. The administration should not tolerate any sign of bullying within the school. Parents should also be tough with their children and avoid anything that may turn them into bullies. 
watching TV and playing computer games must be regulated at home. If the child shows some bullying behavior while at home, he or she should be seriously punished. The government also has a very big role to play in curbing this vice. The policy makers must enact policies that address bullying in schools. These policies should be implemented and strictly adhered to, and whoever violates them should face the law irrespective of age. All the stakeholders, including the humanitarian non-governmental organizations, are to join hands to curb this vice in society. Through this collaborative approach, success will be achieved. StudyCorgi.com has everything you need for successful studies. Writing tools, informative articles, and essay samples. Come check it out.